guys. Welcome back to another episode of My Butts is Hurting. Um, here, here Mia is uh, telling us you hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness testimonies to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. Okay, well, I mean, I don't really see one here. I mean, that's the thing. Let's see. Uh, time of death. Uh, 731. 4, 4 to 5 p.m. Okay. So, she was reported time of death was from 4 to 5. And technically, let me see. Uh, time of death was from 4 to 5, uh, it's, uh, assuming. But, uh, let me see. Building was out of power. Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't know. I don't see anything. First, find the contradiction in the court records within the witness testimony. Okay, fine, fine. Profiles. Let's go over to this dude. Let's see what he said. Um, discovered the body. Uh, newspaper salesman who uh, saw him flee. What day was it? Okay, so 7.30... Wait, 7... When do people usually get their mail? 7.31? When was that? What is that a day? Is it gonna tell me like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday thing? Or is that like too much? Let me see. Evidence prosecuted by pain. Pain. <clears throat> Blackout. Ugh. I can't, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Discover the body. Mail. Frank Schwartz. Okay. Um, I can't really see anything. Lived in the apartment by herself. Um. <sighs> shit, I don't know. But then, once you found the contradiction in the evidence, present it and rub it in the witness face. Um, okay. Touch the court record button and point out the contradiction in testimony. Fuck, I don't know. Cross-examination. Okay. Let me see. We're going door to door selling, uh, when I saw- selling subscriptions when I saw the man fleeing to his apartment. Okay. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Ah, uh, shit. Shit, okay, I don't know. I don't know, go back, go back, go back. Continue. Thinking it, thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quelled in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone wasn't working. Oh! Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Her phone in her apartment wasn't working. Yes, I mean, no. It wasn't, right? But you said you didn't go into the apartment. Yes, I knew it! <laughs> or did you? Oh, uh, Oh, that I can see. I'm gonna give him an accent now. I can s explain this. Uh, there was a cordless phone on the shelf in the entryway. I reached inside and tried to use it. Uh, tried to using it, calling her, and the phone wasn't working. Correct? That happened. What happened next? Okay, fuck. I uh, shit. <laughs> okay. I went to the nearby park and found a public phone. Okay. Wait. 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 What? Let me see. Um, I don't see anything. No one would believe I was a defense attorney if I- Oh, okay. So I don't really see anything. I remember the time exactly. 1 p.m. Okay, well, wait, okay. Uh, it was from noon to 6. So let me- let me see. Let me see. Noon to 6. Um... Noon to 6 p.m. That makes sense. It it ties up. It ties up, though. It ties up. But the time of death was from 4 to 5. So then, technically... Okay, her time of death was from 4 to 5. Here, here, here. The t I don't know. This, this is you found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes. It was at 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. 
The statement clearly contradicts your autopsy report. The autopsy notes that the time of death was sometime after 4 p.m. There was nobody to her, no body <laughs> to find to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this one hour gap, three hour gap? Uh, uh, that, uh, uh. Oh, jeez. Uh, this trivia, the witness merely forgotten at this time. Oh man, after this testimony, I find it hard to believe. Oh wait, I don't know why his voice. Mr. Schwartz, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, uh, well, I, uh, gee, that's a really good question. Good job, right? Uh, way to point out the spot. Way to point it out on the spot. That's all you have to do. Uh, point out the contradictions. Now, the only reason I didn't want to point it out was in the sight, a slight chance that it was just like, oh, it's only an estimation. Like, uh, it could only be estimated that it was about four when she died. But, um, but no, I mean, I guess in video games, estimations don't really, like, they're, they're on point. Uh, lies always beget more lies. See, though, one and their whole story falls apart. Oh, nice. Wait, I remember now. Uh, would you care to give your testimony again? You can't give a second testimony. No, you can't. Oh, come on. You can't give a test. No, in real court, you can't give a second testimony. Once your testimony is false, it's false. It's false forever. It's false forever. You see, when I found the body, it was. It was I heard the time. Uh, and there was a voice saying the time, and it was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must be watching a video of a taped program. Uh, that's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. I don't believe that crap. <laughs> Obviously, because I saw him murder him. <laughs> Hmm, I see. You heard a voice say the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You, oh, I know. Oh, oh, I know what's up with here. I know what's up. No, no, no. You can't say that. You can't say that. It, you said it was on the TV? You said it was when I heard the... Uh, okay, I heard the time. It was saying it uh, probably from the television. No, I'm presenting this blackout. There was a blackout. Present this. Hold it right there. The prosecution... The prosecution... Pro, pro section uh, has said that there was a blackout at the time of discovery. And this record proves it. Ah. You couldn't have heard the television or a video. Uh, yeah, I, I will. Uh, uh, the defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Schwartz? Uh, no, I, uh, I found it uh, quite puzzling myself. Quite. Ah, uh, uh, wait. I remember now, uh, Mr. Schwartz. The court will prefer to hear your accurate testimony from the very beginning. These consistent corrections are harming your credibility. Uh, that uh, you you seem rather distraught. Uh, uh, oh wait, oh wait, oh. My apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Uh, very well, Mr. Schwartz. Uh, let's just hear your testimony once more, please. Oh jeez, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, I'm ready to hear this one. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I I saw it. I I was a table clock in the apartment. Uh, wait, there was a table clock in the apartment. Uh, was it there? Yeah, then a murdered weapon the killer used to hit the victim. Uh, it, it must have uh, been what I saw. Wait, what? You saw? You saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examinate the witness. Gladly. Oh, man. Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. Um, so hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. It was a table clock in the apartment. Wasn't there. Okay. First off, let me see what's going on here. But, technically...
Oh, let me see. Wasn't there. Yeah, the murder the murderer weapon the killer used to hit the victim. The murderer Yeah, the murder weapon the Wait, what? The murderer weapon the victim used Wait, the killer used to the victim. What? What am I supposed to present? Am I supposed to present this? Am I supposed to present this? <laughs> Wait, just a moment. The murderer weapon wasn't a clock. Oh, there it goes. There you go. It was a statue. Now, this was supposed to be. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? Yeah! What, you, 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 your objections and your evidence just. Who do you think you are? Ready ground leaving scars? Yes, such as me, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Uh, hey, I, I saw it there. Okay, that's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Payne? As the witness stated, the statue is indeed a clock. Wait, what? The, the, the neck is a switch. You just tilted and it says the time out loud. Uh, it doesn't look like a clock. I, I submitted it uh, as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with the testimony now? Um, uh, yes. Yes, I still do. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in this witness testimony. The only way he could have known that the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yes! Say it, Phoenix! Right! Oh, man. Yet, the witness testifies that he never entered the apartment. Clearly, a contradiction. Huh, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. Knew. Lying. You went inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Yeah, 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 prove it. Uh, prove I went there. I'll do better than that. I can prove that you were the one who killed her. Uh, you, you struck her with the clock and... Uh, wait. Stuck it blow wait and sh and sh and the shock of the blow oh and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. Oh, I did not know that. Oh snap! That was the second you heard. It was 1 p.m. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Oh man, that's nice, Mr. Schwartz. The sound you must have left uh, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandably, since the murder weapon just uh, weapon spoke just as you hit the victim, the voice was burned into your mind. Uh, that's why you were so certain about the time. Uh, well, what's the meaning of this? Uh, this is a baseless conjecture. Conjecture. Baseless. Just look at the witness face! Yeah, yeah. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, uh, that day, uh, that day, I, I never, I, I, I look at the clock, I heard no, I mean, I saw, yeah, yeah! <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I hate you! It, it was him! I tell you, I saw him! He killed her! And he, he should burn! He, he burn! Give him dead! I don't know why I changed his voice. Order! Order the court, I say! Your Honor, a, a moment, please. Uh, there isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's cause. Mr. Wright, Your Honor, you claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The cold case is writing on this. I better think it. <laughs> I better think it through carefully. Yes, no, yes, yes, Your Honor. The sound Mr. Schwartz heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clearly, if you simply. Ah. <sighs> uh... Examine the clock's batteries. Ask the neighbors. Try sounding the clock. Try sounding the clock. Let's 
Let's sound the clock here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. I think it's 285, 225. <gasps> that certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is uh, the thinker, after all. So, uh, we've heard the clock. Uh, what about your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? <gasps> oh, 11.25. Oh, nice. It's, it's off. It's off by like three hours or so. Ah. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the dis, uh, dis descriptory uh, between Mr. Schwartz heard at the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sh Schwartz, try to talk your way out of this one. Uh, 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 you forgot one thing. Uh-uh. What's he talking about? While it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. Uh, how do you know that it was running three hours slow the, on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. Uh, he's right. How am I proving that? Damn it. Uh, I was so close. Mr. Wright, it seems you lack the critical evidence you support to support your claim. Oh, jeez. Yes, your honor. It seems I cannot let you in- oh, indict the witness. Unfortunately. This ends the cross-examination for Mr. Frank Swartz. I come all the way down here to testify, and what happens? They treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime! Yeah. I almost had him. Uh, sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about- Oh, don't tell me I failed this. Oh, don't tell me I failed. Not so fast, Mr. Schwartz! <gasps> oh, Mia! Yes! Mia, thank you! Mia, I mean Chief! Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think! But, Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow on the day of the murder. And nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking outside of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have the proof. Right, Mr. Wright? Right, right? Can you think of a reason as to why the clock was three hours slow? Oh, uh, I can't really. I mean, I'm gonna say yes, fuck man, just cause. Yes? Oh, fuck. Wait! Maybe I can prove it. You must have the evidence somewhere uh, to prove it. Oh, fuck man. Statue shape, a heavy finger. Okay, um. Oh, fuck. Is it, is it cause of the, um, is it cause of the blackout? Is it because of the blackout? Oh, whatever, fuck it. Oh, oh, cause she was in Paris! She was in Paris! She probably bought it from Paris! Oh, geez, there you go. Uh, so, apparently Paris is three hours slow. Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow the day of the murder. Have you found the evidence to support this claim? Of course. This is a piece of evidence the court and the court record that I can prove to claim the here. If only I could just say that it's that. It's that. Aha! Tough word. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see the evidence that proves the clock was running slow. This one. This one. Present. Cause she was in Paris. The, the victim had returned from abroad the day before the murder. Oh jeez. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. Oh, I didn't know that. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. <laughs> the victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. 
that's why the time you heard when the when you struck her dying in her apartment was wrong. There you go. Proof enough for you, Mr. Schwartz? Or should I say, Mr. Did it? Oh, yeah. Sadly, I'm gonna have to end it on that cliffhanger. Um, please leave a like and also subscribe if you're new and also comment down below if you are liking the series or um, something. Uh, comment down below if you think, if you think he did it. Do you think he did it? I mean, heck, what do you think happened to him? Do you think he took a side night pill? What's going on? Well, um, you guys stay sexy, stay safe. See you guys in the next one. We're, this is getting juicy. It's getting real juicy up in here. Bye.